Bethany. I am the supervisor here at the Active Living Center. And today we are in the kitchen of the Active Living Center. So if you've done some volunteering in here, this will be a nice uh, visit back to your regular stomping grounds. Today we're going to make butterscotch blondies, which is like brownies without the cocoa. And I'm using a recipe from allrecipes.com. So this recipe, blondies, is fairly basic items that you probably have in your pantry or cupboards. And I'm gonna try my best to make them well. So, I've already turned on the oven, and we have it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm supposed to use an 11 by 7 pan, but we are going to improvise with this, what I believe to be a 9 by 9. So we're improvising. I don't usually use this. I feel like this is a product placement for Pam. I don't usually use it, but today we are because I'm using everything in this kitchen. So you want to lightly grease your pan. Like that. And then you need one cup of butter melted. So while this butter, our friendly butter is melting, we'll continue on with the rest of the ingredients so that we don't have to stand there and watch it melt. I'm trying not to touch that butter. There we go. I have a habit of slicing my butter. I did wash my hands, but I'm going to wash them again because I want to touch the butter. So, I would probably be more careless in my own kitchen, but since I just cleaned my hands, I'm doing that. I like to cut the butter. For some reason, it tells my brain that it's gonna melt faster and easier. I don't know why, but that's what I do. And this is a cute little saucepan. The recipe actually says to melt the butter and then do everything in the large saucepan. I'm not gonna do that. Sometimes I don't follow recipes 100%. So our butter is going to be melted. I'm not going to put it, I'm not going to put it on too high. I'm gonna just want to melt it. So I'll have to keep my eye on the butter. We'll just tuck this away for now. So melting the butter and now I've already measured out two cups of all-purpose flour. Then you need half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna have to eyeball it because I only took out a teaspoon measure, but that's okay. And personally, I'm so naughty with recipes, I'm realizing now. I don't always add salt to recipes. I never put salt in my cookies. And I just use the teaspoon measure to mix the salt in there. Then you also want baking powder, not soda. I almost used soda. So make sure you read your recipe. We need one and one half teaspoons of baking powder. There's a level teaspoon and then a half. Again, risking it a little bit with the eyeballing, but that's okay. It says to sift. So if you have a sifter, could put your blondies to the next level, but I'm just mixing it in like this, which is probably fine. We need this teaspoon measure later for the vanilla. So I'm gonna peek at the butter. Mm. It looks very good, it's melting nicely. I'm just gonna poke it. Mm. 
there. Now we're all very clean. Okay, you also need, this is our dry mixture now, we have that, that's fine. You need some brown sugar. It calls for light brown sugar. This is brilliant yellow. Ah. So we'll use brilliant yellow. Believe it or not, you need two cups of packed light brown sugar. To me, oh my God, there we go. Just about took my hand off, but didn't. To me, brown sugar is gold. You need to have some brown sugar in your pantry. Oh my God. Okay. That's why I did it in the bowl because I knew I would miss. Okay, this is probably going to be one. Not bad. And now two. What I really want to do, and I'm going to do it, is open this up and just scoop it out. There. Okay. And then I can pack it without touching it. There is two. So that's your two cups packed light brown sugar. The butter is melted. I'm, just, I'm so used to cleaning everything up immediately, but I'm trying to resist the urge to put the sugar away. And I'm just gonna give this a little stir because there's a couple bits that are still solid. So you can kind of see there's still a few pieces there, but the heat is still in the pan probably, so it should melt nicely. Or maybe not. Hmm. go with it. It won't hurt us. Okay, so there's our melted butter. We're supposed to add the sugar into the butter. I'm doing it backwards. All the things not to do while baking. That is what I'm teaching you. Okay. We also need I'm just trying to make sure I'm on the right line. First, we're gonna beat this well. I like to just use a fork to kind of break down the sugar. I'm not gonna use a hand mixer, but you could. It's probably easier on your wrist. Actually, almost never use a hand mixer. I just do it with my own elbow grease. So it says beat well. So I'm gonna just kind of mix it up a bit. looks okay to me. Now, it says cool slightly. I don't think it's that hot. And then you need three eggs. So you're going to beat in the eggs and vanilla. I'm just going to put all three eggs in at one time. I'm actually going to try a trick and see if I can crack an egg with one hand because I used to be able to do that. So this could go terribly wrong. We'll see. I'm gonna use my right hand. Mm. Can I do it? A bit messy, but I did it. Ooh. Good thing I washed my hands. And one more egg. Good. And also, this is why an apron is great. Also need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. When I was in Mexico one year, I bought some vanilla extract and it was the best I had. I, I don't know why, but there's a little tip for you if you ever get to travel to Mexico, not this year. One. 
and two teaspoons vanilla extract. So beat in the eggs and vanilla. Again, you can use a hand mixer. I don't. our dry ingredients into the wet mixture like so and just want to double check something after this is well mixed together then you have the option to add in one cup of walnuts or pecans pecans and um, they should be chopped we're not going to do that. We're just in doing the basic butterscotch blondie. So we're getting there. Right about now is when my arm starts to cramp. <laughs> oh, but it smells good. Okay, so we have our pre-greased pan ready for the batter. So like I said before, the recipe calls for a 11 by 7 pan, but we're going to use a 9 by 9 and hope for the best and try not to drop the bowl. Very sticky. Okay. I'm going to try and get it even. Just smooth it out in the pan. So now we had our oven preheated at 350 degrees. So it's by now it's plenty warm and ready to go. We are going to set our timer for, let's air on the side of caution. It says 30 to 35 minutes. So we're gonna put it for 31 minutes just for fun. We have our little timer there and we're going to put it in the oven. see what we get in half an hour. Okay, so our timer has just buzzed and we're going to take a look, see what we have here, and it looks good. Let me just close this. Yes, so there's a nice pan of blondies. Now, just a reminder, if you wanted to find this recipe, it's butterscotch blondies on allrecipes.com. Um, and now it, we are supposed to leave it in the pan for 10 minutes. And then you wanna flip it out of the pan. I suggest going around with a knife. You probably already know that. But I go around with a knife and then flip it onto a cutting board and then onto a rack to cool the rest of the way. And um, there you have some beautiful blondies to enjoy. So I hope you had a fun time watching me mess around in the kitchen and we hope to see you soon. Bye.